Thank you very much for coming out this afternoon. Uh, the Vicksburg Police Department is working a missing person case on a gentleman by the name of David Michael Cups. Uh, David went missing uh, just this past Monday in the afternoon. Uh, Mr. Cup traveled to Jackson, Mississippi, the Maker Everest Airport on Monday. He rented a vehicle. He traveled down to Grand Gulf Nuclear Power Plant in order to do some work. Uh, from all indications, he conducted that work and traveled back into Vicksburg on Monday afternoon. He had already made reservation at a local hotel. Uh, he did not check in. However, he did have reservations there. Uh, sometime uh, Monday after he made it back to Vicksburg, uh, apparently he went missing. He was last seen in the Vicksburg area. Uh, there is some indication that he had a conversation with his wife uh, by phone. Uh, last night, his vehicle was located in Jackson, Tennessee. That's on I-40 in Tennessee. A state trooper from Tennessee stopped this vehicle. Uh, the two suspects was inside the vehicle. They escaped and ran into the woods. Uh, Tennessee Highway Patrol, Tennessee Investigation, uh, they've been searching for those individuals ever since that time. Uh, the vehicle that was rented uh, by uh, Mr. Cups, uh, it, that vehicle was identified back uh, as the vehicle that was stopped by the Highway Patrol. There was also two inmates that escaped from Louisiana just this past Friday and they were occupying that vehicle and Mr. Cups were not in it. Uh, there was information found in, this, in the vehicle that tied the two escapees to that vehicle. Uh, there was uh, information there in, in the vehicle. Right now, that vehicle is being processed uh, by the Tennessee authorities and that's where we are at this point in time. Again, this is a missing person case that we are investigating right now. We have been investigating this case ever since we learned about it uh, yesterday. Uh, Lieutenant Stewart and his investigators have uh, lead, are leading the investigation here and they have worked around the clock. Uh, there has not been any sightings of Mr. Cups. The two suspects are identified as 36-year-old Ricky Westworth and 33-year-old Darren <coughs> Piers. Again, 36-year-old Ricky Westworth and 33-year-old Darren Piers. They are white males and uh, we believe they are still in the Tennessee area at this time. Uh, if you have any particulars, uh, I would like to ask Lieutenant Stewart to answer any particulars as it relates to this investigation. We are continuing to search uh, in and around the Vicksburg Warren County area. Uh, I'll be putting a call in to the Mississippi Highway Patrol very shortly to see if we can maybe get uh, the helicopter to fly and look for uh, the suspect, I mean, excuse me, the missing person, as well as the vehicle the inmates may have uh, driven to our area from Louisiana. And the suspect, have they been positively identified uh, by the police and the state police? Again, uh, whenever the vehicle was stopped, the state trooper uh, did get a chance to see the individuals inside the vehicle. However, they, they, they ran away into the wooded areas. Uh, there was information found in the vehicle that tied to the suspect. And not only that, we were able to give pictures of the two escapees to Tennessee and the trooper that made the stop positively identified the two suspects as being escapees. Yes, ma'am. And what 
point was it determined that Mr. Cox was missing? Well, again, on his way back to Vicksburg to possibly check into the hotel, uh, he had conversation with his wife. Uh, he never checked in the, vehicle, in the hotel. That's one indication that something went wrong. And he was to go back down to Grand Gulf the following day uh, to do some work, and he did not show up for work. Is that correct? That's correct. And so that was another indication. Yes, sir. We are still looking at a number of things. Uh, another thing we know is that these two escapees was in our city. Uh, we have been able to talk to uh, a local restaurant, and we know that they did appear at at least one location. Location? Uh, that was uh, on Monday at around 10.55, we received a call of a uh, Possible suspects being uh, identified as the two uh, escapees being seen uh, on Pemberton Boulevard in that area. Uh, we saturated the area then. We did not have any contact with them. And then uh, it appears from there they later made contact with uh, Mr. Cups when he was uh, in the same area to check into his hotel. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Why were they stopping We had the vehicle listed on NCIC along with Mr. Cups as a missing person. Uh, we were initially contacted by Mr. Cups' wife. After she did not hear from him, uh, she contacted his boss. Uh, after she was told he didn't check in the hotel, uh, he did verify that he did not show up for work. Uh, so then she contacted the Vicksburg Police Department around 11.40 a.m. yesterday morning. So the state trooper identified the car in the building? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. These suspects have pretty long lap shoes. My understanding, uh, aggravated assault conviction, uh, possible second degree murder of these fugitives. Yes, uh, absolutely. We will describe these individuals as very armed, armed and, well, we don't know if they're armed at this point in time, but we certainly would describe them as being extremely dangerous. Uh, again, they were serving time in prison. However, they were out on a, a work details from what I can understand. You're still treating this as a missing person's case? Absolutely. Is there any particular area that y'all are looking at? We have searched extensively uh, throughout the city. We have also made contact with uh, the highway patrol, and we are checking rest areas, rest stops, and any areas that we feel that uh, this person might be. Mr. Uh, Cups. Um, when Mr. Cups returned from Grand Gulf on Monday afternoon, there was some other employees from Grand Gulf who left out of the gate behind him, and they did verify that Mr. Cups did not stop anywhere and was last seen proceeding toward the area of Pemberton. Um, to answer your question, like the Chief said, we contacted MHP. Uh, Mississippi Bureau of Investigations, the U.S. Marshals is assisting us in this investigation, and uh, we're, we have sent out multiple emails and flyers to local jurisdictions here in the state asking them to check any routes along I-20, I-55, 61 North, you know, your routes that were possibly taken to get to Tennessee. Well, again, this vehicle is being processed. We're not really sure what was found in it other than that information that uh, linked the two escapees to the vehicle. However, we are asking anyone with information of sightings of David Michael Cups, age 53, white male, 53 years of age, 5'10", approximately 210 pounds, 
uh, to please contact uh, the Vicksburg Police Department, uh, Lieutenant Bobby Stewart. Uh, he can be contacted at area code 601-831-1168. That's 601-831-1168. Uh, Lieutenant Stewart, commander of the investigation. Yes. He was driving, uh, Mr. Cups was occupying a 2011 Buick Enclave. That's the new uh, SUV style crossover vehicle. E N C L A V E. Yes, ma'am. It was red. Um, we had a possible sighting after we're interviewing extensive uh, people in the uh, Pemberton area, restaurant workers and whatnot, uh, where we received a phone call. It was possible that they were in a older white uh, SUV style vehicle. Uh, however, we have not found none abandoned in the, in the Vicksburg area as of yet. So we're not sure that that vehicle was, she said she believed that's what uh, who she identified as Wedgworth was positively got back into, but she she wasn't 100 percent sure. So we we are looking for that vehicle, but we haven't found any. There has been on the scanner in the last few days another missing person uh, who was last seen driving a white van, uh, possibly on his way to the Mississippi Casino a couple weeks ago. Left from someplace in Alabama. Do you have any reason to suspect that it's connected to that? No, ma'am, not at this time. Are they in the state? I understand they were housed in Louisiana. They were housed in, in Louisiana. Again, they were on a work detail uh, down in Louisiana. And matter of fact, they were working at the Louisiana State Police Headquarters compound. Is where they were working. I'm not really sure uh, what, what kind of work, but it was in Baton Rouge. Yes. Yes. Second. No, uh, can't think of anything at this time. Uh, we're just asking the public that if there is any sighting of this individual, to please give us a call and, and we'll take it from there.